Hello students, welcome to class 7 English. Let us first analyze why do we observe certain days of celebration. For example, on March 22nd, we observe World Water Day. On February 4th, World Cancer Day is observed. And on April 22nd, World Earth Day. And many more such days we do celebrate. What is the importance of celebrating such days? It is to create awareness among the people regarding the importance of that particular thing. For example, water. That is a resource which is abundantly available for us from the nature. But can we misuse that? No. In order to know how to use it, we have to create awareness among ourselves and others too. And today, let us move on to the topic of our study, the poem, Awareness. What exactly is awareness? That is, having knowledge about a particular thing or you create knowledge or you give awareness, you talk about that to somebody else. So, as I read on the poem, students, you need to refer to page number 33 in your textbook. Awareness Poem written by Sylvia Stulch Broken bottles and chaired pieces of glass Wedded up newspapers tossed on the grass Pouring of concrete and tearing out trees This is the environment that surrounds me Poisons and insecticides preyed on our food Oceans filling with thick oil crude all sea life destined to a slow, awful doom. These are the things we are to consume. Mills pumping out iron, expelling yellow fumes, airlines emitting caustic gases from fuels, weapons of destruction tested at desolate sites. And this is the air that's to sustain life. There has to be something that someone can do like raise the awareness to those around you that if we don't heed the problem at end it's your life that's at stake the destruction of man the poem awareness is in the free verse it does not use consistent meter patterns like rhyme or any musical pattern it does tends to follow the rhythm of natural speech, like how we talk to each other. The poet is talking to us. Now, what exactly the poem Awareness says? The poem Awareness, written by Sylvia Stulz, in this poem, she describes all the things we have polluted as humans. Now, as I read the poem, you might have come across certain words. Let us see the meanings of those words. Chair it is half burnt, which is not completely burnt. That's half burnt things. Where did is papers bundled together. Waste papers bundled together. Tossed is throw care carelessly. You put it here and there. Insecticides, chemical used to kill insects. Crude is not refined. The oil which used for cooking is refined. Now crude is not refined. You use on vehicles. Destined is determined earlier. Awful doom is great destruction. Fume, a gas or vapor that smells very strongly. Emitting is giving out. When the vehicles move, it gives out smoke. That is giving out. Desolate is empty or lonely. Caustic, burning by chemical reaction. Awareness, having knowledge of. And heed is pay careful attention. Stake is put at risk. Take something into risk. Now, in the first stanza of the poem, the poet speaks about the environment that surrounds us. Broken bottles and chaired pieces of glasses are and or bundled newspapers are tossed on the grass. They are thrown out on the grass. And pouring of concrete and tearing out trees means the trees are cut down and the concrete buildings have grown up there. People have constructed buildings by cutting down the trees. And this is the environment that surrounds me. In such an environment we live, says the poet. 
And in the second stanza, poet speaks how our food gets contaminated. Because poisons and insecticides sprayed, sprayed on our food and oceans filling with thick oil crude. So water sprayed on our food, the poison and insecticides and we consume the same food. And oceans which is filled with crude oil, because of that all sea life are destined to a slow awful doom. Because of that the sea life, the aquatic animals within the sea are into great destruction. They are getting spoiled. And these are the things we are to consume. The poet asks a question. Are we providing such food for our children, for our future? So these are the things we consume, says the poet. Now in the third stanza, how our air gets polluted? Poet says, she says that how our air is getting polluted. Mills pumping out iron, expelling yellow fumes. The factories that gives out the fumes out of it is polluting the air and airlines emitting caustic gases from fuels. The airlines which give out the gas which comes out or the fume that comes out by due to certain chemical reactions and all those are let out to the environment. Weapons of destruction tested at desolate sites. Many nuclear bombs are discovered and they are tested at desolate sites means the empty places that spoils our environment and this is the air that's to sustain life again she asks the question to us and is this the air that is to sustain means carry our life forward are we living in such an environment with polluted air with polluted food and polluted environment there has to be something that someone can do. Now in the fourth stanza, she wants someone to create awareness among them people. There has to be something that someone can do. Somebody has to take up the initiative now. They have to do something like raise the awareness to those around you. People have to give knowledge, create awareness to those around you. That if you don't heed the problem at hand, now at present, if you don't pay attention to the existing problem, it's your life that's at stake, says the poet. That is the human life which is at risk and it will lead to destruction of mankind. So, in this poem, the poet conveys a message. The emotion that is created by the poem, in the poem, by the poet is a kind of sorrow and disappointment. There is a question, are we raising our children in such an environment? So, this is the knowledge what the poem awareness gives to us.